Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to the latest Hurricane Tracker app video update recorded Sunday, September the 8th, 2013 at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. There's two systems we are going to be monitoring for development as we head into this new week. First is the remnants of Tropical Storm Gabrielle. Right now the system is firing a lot of thunderstorms, but it is disorganized due to some upper level wind shear which we'll show you in just a couple of moments. Overall, the system has about a 30 to 40% chance of developing as it moves off towards the northeast over the next few days. Uh, so you folks in Bermuda, keep a close eye on these remnants in case the system does try to regenerate into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. The main story this week is going to be uh, Invest 91L, which is on the verge of developing into a tropical depression or tropical storm Umberto, during the next couple of days. There's an 80% chance of development within the next 48 hours and then a 90% chance of development overall during the next five days. So we do believe that within about 24 to 36 hours we should have a developing tropical cyclone and we'll take a look at the computer models and a more in-depth uh, forecast for this system. Here's a look at the latest infrared loop over the tropical Atlantic. We'll start here in the western portions of the basin. You can see there's a lot of disorganized uh, thunderstorms flaring up here over the western Gulf of Mexico in response to the upward pulse of the MJO. Some of the computer models have been hinting that this uh, surface trough of low pressure will propagate into the western Gulf of Mexico towards the end of this week and could spawn a fourth uh, tropical storm here over the uh, southern Bay of Campeche. Of course, we've already had Tropical Storm Barry, Tropical Storm Fernand, and then we just had another tropical depression that formed a few days ago and moved inland, and we could have a fourth system here in the Gulf, so we'll keep a close eye on that situation. But it looks like at this time, uh, dominating high pressure over the United States would likely keep any system moving towards the west, mainly south of Texas. Over here uh, in the western portions of the basin, a few hundred miles northeast of Puerto Rico, here's the remnants of Tropical Storm Gabriel. The system does have a lot of thunderstorms associated with it, and there is even a weak, very uh, broad, low-level circulation here. But uh, again, there's wind shear that's moving from southwest to northeast, which we'll show you in just a moment. Further east, we do have a, um, a pretty strong tropical wave. It is fighting its hardest but it is encountering a really strong wind shear of about 50 knots and also some dry air. We do not expect development out of the system over the next few days, but as it moves towards the west or the west-southwest, once it reaches the western Atlantic and the eastern Caribbean Sea in about four to six days, it will need to be watched for potential development as it could reach a more favorable environment, but at this point, no imminent threat out of that system. Here's a closer look at the wind shear near uh, the remnants of Tropical Storm Gabrielle. You can see uh, these yellow lines represent wind shear. Here's the 30, let me turn on my red cursor here. Uh, this line here is wind shear of 30 knots. This one here is 20 knots. So we have wind shear moving from southwest to northeast, just strong enough above the system to keep blowing the thunderstorms uh, to the east of any circulation. But there are indications by the computer models that as the system moves off towards the northeast, towards Bermuda, it could redevelop into a, a, a named storm. And we'll show you a look here at the European model, the ECMWF. Two days from now, it does show the vorticity getting a little bit stronger. And then by day uh, three, even stronger. Day four, looks like we could have a tropical depression here. Nothing too strong, though. And then by day five, you see we have that uh, upper level trough that is prog to come out of the northeast United States. And of course the upper level trough will pick up the remnants of Gabby and move it quickly north northeast. Could brush southeastern Canada with some rain showers and gusty winds, but overall not a big threat with that system. All right, let's turn our attention over to Invest 91L. We'll use the Hurricane Tracker app to look at this system. Here's the latest infrared, infrared loop. You can see the thunderstorms are beginning to really concentrate around a broad low level center. And this will continue to move off towards the west. It is in a favorable environment. 
and just about every computer model is showing development with this system so therefore the National Hurricane Center is giving this a 90 percent chance of becoming the next named storm and we do believe that should happen most likely by tomorrow. At this time the computer models show the system moving off towards the west and then in a, about two to three days possibly strengthening into a hurricane here west of the Cape Verde Islands and normally when a system uh, starts gaining in intensity and getting stronger the systems tend to move nor more northward more poleward and so with time we do expect to see this system uh, move northeast here over the cooler waters of the open Atlantic there's also some wind shear out here um, so we do expect the storm to strengthen become a possibly the first hurricane of the Atlantic season for a couple days and then begin to weaken again as it moves off towards the northwest. Now as far as the longer term, uh, we'll take a quick look at that uh, by the, see what the European model is showing. So day one here you can see the system is starting to get organized. By day three it looks like we have a system that could uh, be a very strong tropical storm if not on the verge of a hurricane. Uh, let's see, by day four and five, we see the system getting a little bit stronger and then beginning to weaken as it encounters those cooler waters. And then the European model now, along with the GFS, uh, is suggesting in about five to ten days a more westerly track since it would be a weaker system. But we'll just have to uh, wait and see as we have a lot of time to look at the forecast and the computer models. And, of course, we all know that they change. And then uh, about 8 to 10 days from now, uh, the European model does show the tropical cyclone weakening back to a tropical wave. And here are the remnants being picked up by the European. More importantly, it's forecasting an area of high pressure over the northwest Atlantic. So if uh, future tropical storm Umberto can survive the cooler waters in the shear and uh, can begin to make a more westerly turn, there is a slight possibility, even though the chances are really low at this point, that it could be tugged further west under high pressure and uh, possibly uh, maybe redevelop if it could find favorable conditions down the road. But right now, this I want to stress this system is no immediate threat to any landmass, and there's a probably 90% chance that it will not get this far west and that it would just likely curve off here into the open Atlantic. But we'll definitely keep you updated on that possibility. Here's a look at all the computer models day, uh, five days from now. Here's the GFS clearly showing a strong system. Here's the uh, UK MET model also showing a uh, uh, tropical storm or Hurricane Humberto. Here's the film model, the CMC model. I'm just going to do a few more here. The NAVGEM model and finally the European model. So you can see out in this area in about uh, three to five days, there's a, uh, say about a 60% chance we would have our first hurricane here in the Atlantic Basin. And the latest date ever since we've been in the satellite age is September the 11th for the latest hurricane in the Atlantic Basin. So I do think there's a chance we could tie that record, but I would uh, say that, that that record is probably going to be broken and this uh, would become the latest season ever with a hurricane in the tropical Atlantic. Finally, before we end the video, let's take a look at the long range by the GFS American model. Um, here you can see that tropical wave we mentioned over the eastern Atlantic. So keep your eyes on this it moves off to, as it moves towards the west. Keep your eyes on Invest 91L as it begins to strengthen and move northeast. And then here's the remnants of Gabrielle, which will be picked up and moved off towards the north-northeast. So let me put this in motion here for you. Amy, just a second here. Let me get back to uh, where we need to be here. Sometimes these computer models don't work the way we'd like them to. All right, here we go. So we can see uh, Invest 91L developing and the wave in front of it slowly meandering towards the uh, Eastern Caribbean Sea. And more importantly, by the end of this week, the GFS model is forecasting another storm, a fourth one of the season, in the Bay of Campeche. And then here's where the GFS has a possibly tropical storm or hurricane Umberto. And here's the high pressure ridge that is building above it, which again could turn the system more towards the west with time. And let me go a few more frames here in the future. See the westerly turn now? 
and then really really long range it shows the high pressure breaking down and the, the GFS is taking it towards the northeast and remember the European model was taking it more west so I think it would be foolish to totally write off this system because we have had uh, computer models over the last several weeks showing uh, very strong tropical waves out here that were supposed to develop and move off towards the north northwest and they did it at these systems the the, the chance of these systems staying uh, weaker and going further west uh, may actually be higher than previously thought because of the way the season has shaped out and, and turned out to be so far in regards to the dry air in this year so the further west these systems could get uh, the more chance they could have of hanging around and possibly redeveloping here in the Western Atlantic Basin. So, once again, we're not going to completely write off Invest 91L as it's not even a storm yet. It still has a long way to go before its uh, final future is determined, but we'll keep a lookout for it. Finally, uh, not showing on this map, but a lot of the uh, ensemble members have been hinting at lowering pressures here across portions of the Gulf, Northwest Caribbean Sea, and the Western Atlantic over the next couple of weeks. So this may become a prime area for development as we get in towards the middle of this month. Thank you so much for tuning in today and watching our uh, Hurricane Tracker app video update. If you don't have the Hurricane Tracker app and you would like access to all this information, please take a look at the details at www.hertracker.com. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be back with another video update likely tomorrow afternoon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.